Hey there guys! Today we are going to be learning about graphic overrides, and ways you can override any elements in a certain view. So I'm going to go up to the wall command under the architecture tab. Uh, you can always do WA, the keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to choose rectangle. Alright, and you can see level 1, 20 feet, and it's unconnected. I point this out because when we go into level 2, you'll see how graphic overrides work and how they're particular to the view. Alright, so I'm just going to drag this out. Alright, and we have walls. Now sometimes we want to highlight certain elements. So in this case, we're going to consider graphic overrides. So I'll click on my wall. Uh, one thing you can do is you can go up to the View tab and click on Visibility Graphics. You can also do the keyboard shortcut VG, and that brings up your menu of graphic override options. So we've used this before, but this time it's going to be slightly different. So I'm going to select walls, and it's going to be a cut since it's in a floor plan. Alright, so I'm going to click on line, and I'm going to go ahead and make a red line. Actually, no, hold on. I'm going to go into pattern and I'm going to choose Red Solid Fill and hit Apply. Now you'll notice that they're all based on category and because Visual Graphic Override is based on categories it's really easy to make changes to whole groups of elements. Uh, if you want your doors to be hatched in, if you want your walls to be a certain color, it's really easy to do. And there's other categories we haven't talked about yet. Uh, ceilings, floors, windows, and you can change any of them through the Visual Graphic Override option under the View tab. But what if we don't want everything to be one color? Let's say we want the leftmost wall not to be red. Well, it's easy. All you do is click on the wall, selecting your element first, right click, and if you mouse down you can see that we can override graphics in view by element. So when you make the change by element, you're only going to change one part of the design whereas Visual Graphics Override does entire categories. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to change the cut and we're going to change it to white. We're going to select Solid Fill, but notice that all the hatching looks white. That's because when you have white hatching over the white background, it all just becomes white. So we'll go with Solid Fill, we'll hit Apply, and you'll see now that the left wall is white. It's no longer the color that we had it set to before. And again, if you want to reverse the change, you can click on it, then right click on it, go to Override Graphics in View by Element, and then we can reset. You can click on Pattern and select No Pattern. You can also go into Color and select No Override. So we'll do that. We'll also go in and set No Pattern. And when we apply that change, you'll see that it returns to the red graphics override that we did first. So if we select this element and then right click and change the graphics by category, uh, let's make the wall green. Because we're doing it by category, that will make all the walls, all the things in that category, green. So anytime you change something by category, whatever it is, doors, windows, ceilings, all of them will change. Even if we go the long way, clicking on the View tab and Visibility Graphics settings, you can see under Cut Patterns that the walls are still green. So those are some of the basics of how you can change the visual graphic options, both by element and by category. But let's go a little bit further now. Let's go into Elevation View. Um, I'm just going to go through the Project Browser menu. And you'll remember that we set our walls to 20 feet high. So that means that it extends through level 2, but if we go into level 2, you'll see that the visual graphic overrides didn't apply. On level 1 though, they're still there. So this means that your visual graphic overrides are by level. If you go into view and the visual graphic overrides setting, you'll see at the top that it's level 2. So these options aren't in control of all your views at once, just one particular view at a time. A way to help you come to grips with this might be not to think of these so much as level 1 and level 2 on the same house, 
but as individual construction or furniture plans. You could have all sorts of different types of plans. Uh, you could have electrical plans. And if you want to duplicate them, just right-click on the level you want and select Duplicate. You can duplicate with detailing or just regular duplicate. This lets you highlight different pieces of the same basic floor plan. So if we go in and we change the walls to, let's say, purple, when we hit apply, the copied floor plan changes to purple. But when we go back to the original level one, it's still green. So now we can go through and we can actually rename these levels according to their use. Floor plan, furniture plan, electrical plan, whatever you need. And note that this doesn't cover everything that you could possibly do. Um, if you have a furniture plan, let's say, you're going to have different requirements than for a floor or electrical plan. You can hide certain pieces in the visual graphic override, depending on what your needs are. But those are things that we're going to go into a little more detail later on in the course. See you in the next video.